Good morning, YouTube adorers. I'm gonna wait on this air conditioner to quit doing its little thing. Okay. We don't need an air conditioner right now. Oh. Well, it's about 7 a.m. I got home about 3 a.m. Yeah, over at Jeff's. Needless to say, it was a long day. So I'm going to get this up before I do part two of the birthday bash. Uh, yeah, old people like me shouldn't be out till three in the morning. But it was fun. There was a ton of people there. Uh, you're probably going to see a lot of videos today from that party. We say party, but the party didn't start till late that night and there was a handful of us but there was a lot of work done so got the well house started uh, the woodshed chicken coops built a lot of timber cleared it was fun and I probably probably 30 40 people showed up maybe that's a high number but there was a lot of people so it all went good. Jeff got a lot of work done. That yeah, man, they even got electric. There was I was late into the night. I'm like, wow, y'all want to run electric? And they had the electric run into the kitchen. Uh, so it's a good thing there was videos because now I'll get to see everything that was done. Even even though I was there, you know, I'm out doing stuff. And but the last thing we cut a big tree down. The guys did great. Uh, that's the last thing on on the next video uh, his insurance will go down because they wanted that tree gone but if they see that video it may not man we did we did it Arkansas style so put a little rope on there with a truck and pulled it down after cutting it but sometimes in life you got to do things yourself okay I've got a tree 10 feet from my house they want $3,000 to bring down. I'm going to rent a bucket truck and I'm going to take it down from the top myself. Because I'm not paying nobody $3,000 because I don't have it. And then, you know, I'll pay $200 for one day to get a bucket truck and we'll get the tree down. And if more people in this country did things themselves, you know, we do stimulate the economy by paying others to do something. But others, price gouge, they're going to charge you a lot more than what they should. And, yeah, they want $3,000 to get this tree down, and they're not even going to take the wood away. So then I'm stuck cutting it all up. Not going to happen. So if you're ever, you know, you're, you're mulling over the idea of starting a homestead, there's a lot of work involved that you may not realize. But it's worth it. But if you have that dream, do it when you're younger. You know, I waited till I was 45 years old to get my place. And thank God I've got most of the things done. But it's getting harder. It's getting harder, you know. Especially if you're physically impaired like I am a lot, you know. I push myself. I shouldn't do the things I do. But what are you going to do? sit in a corner and cry because you hurt life's pain you know, we're lucky that we can live as long as we do because 150 years ago you'd be lucky to make it till 40 so I don't complain about it you get out you can always rest a day and recover or rest rest a month and recover whatever it takes but we're lucky to live as long as we do and I ain't complaining. Just get out and do it. It's work, man. Yeah, but don't don't have dreams of starting a homestead when you're 70 or 80. <laughs> you know, unless you got a big family. But even if it's your dream, do it. That's why they're called dreams, so you can accomplish them. All right, guys, I'm gonna get this little short video on. I didn't put any up. I, I put the last one up uh, about three this morning. And now I got to edit another one 
and that's going to be a little bit longer and then we'll try to get a couple more done today I'm going to try to go finish picking up all the stuff I tore down from Wally's yard and uh, we'll try to get a couple more videos up man I'm sure appreciating the likes uh, I appreciate you guys and take care happy trails coffee Mm, that is well needed coffee.